Hi, and welcome to the ImagePoint.tl version 10 tutorial video series. In this introduction video, we will be providing an overview of the ImagePoint.tl version 10 software, highlighting such things as the updated user interface, as well as additional functionalities such as link comparison and different options for normalization. The ImagePoint.tl version 10 software is now available for both Mac and PC. The software supports a wide variety of file formats, including TIFF, GEL, and IMG, as well as JPEG and PNG. This is the main hug you see when you first open the software, and we have modules for different types of analysis, including GEL and blot analysis, analysis toolbox for a more freeform analysis of such things as tissue sections or TLC plates. The array analysis module can be utilized for analyzing spots in an ordered array, such as a 96 well plate or a microarray. Finally, the colony counter module can be utilized to quickly and efficiently count colonies. We also have different functionalities shown down here below, including creating a multiplex image. Image editor can be utilized for cropping and rotating our images. We can configure our license, as well as have access to the end user license agreement. This is the main user interface that is seen in the 1D gel and blot analysis module after importing your image. Front and center, we have our image to be analyzed, as well as a 2D rendering showing any saturation that we have, as well as a 3D rendering which can be rotated to any orientation that the user would like. If we are analyzing a multiplexed image with multiple channels, we can go ahead and toggle those on and off up here so you can choose to look at them together or individually. We also have the ability to adjust our display, so you can see we can add any color overlays we would like for each individual channel, as well as independently adjust our brightness and contrast for each channel. We can also choose to zoom our image, so if you're interested in a specific lane, you can zoom in specifically to that, and that image will also be updated in the 3D rendering as well. Along the left side of our display, we can see the different steps in the analysis workflow. So we'll start by importing our image, Next, we'll do a lane creation where we're going to define our different lanes. We're going to do a background subtraction. We're going to define our bands, followed by molecular weight determination, lane comparison, normalization, quantity calibration, as well as reviewing all of our results. Along the right side, you can see some simple steps that are utilized for each step in the process, as well as a way that we can access specific information about our sample. In this case, this allows us to define each one of our channels independently from each other. Here we are showing the lane comparison functionality that was added to ImagePointTL version 10. You can use this functionality to compare different samples between different lanes, whether that is samples from different patients, whether that is different fractions during a protein purification, etc. In the interface, we can see that we have the image that is being analyzed, Below this, we have a lane intensity profile comparison where we can add or take away different lanes that we would like to compare. Next to that, we have a color-coded table that shows relative similarity scores between different lanes within the gel. And below that, we have a scatter plot that shows different lanes and how they compare to the reference lane in this case, which is lane 1. To the far right, we have a dendrogram, which groups are different lanes by how similar they are to each other. We can see lane 1 and lane 3, which are compared in the intensity profiles, over here grouped very similar to each other because their profile is very similar. At any point during this process, if you need more elaboration or more help, you can simply choose the help function over here. And that brings up a new window which goes into more detail about the specific step which you are on. So this will guide you through how to do a lane intensity comparison between different lanes. Here we are showing the normalization function in an ImagePointTL version 10. We have drastically simplified this process from previous versions of IQTL. Once you get to this step, you simply have to choose which method for normalization you would like to use, either in-channel with a single band, multi-channel for a single band, which are both utilized with a housekeeping protein, or finally you can choose total protein, which we have shown here where we have one channel dedicated to total protein normalization in the red, and then our protein of interest is displayed in the green channel. Once you've chosen your method, you simply have to choose the reference channel. In this case, it's going to be the Psi 3 channel, shown in red. 
And finally, we have to choose which normalization factor denominator we'd like to use. So we have options for total lane volume or total band volume. In this case, we're going to use total lane volume so that we don't have to identify individual bands within the cell lysate that we're normalizing to. In the user interface here, we see both the image that's being analyzed as well as the results shown down here either graphically or you can show them as a table as well. The ImageQuad TL version 10 tutorial videos included here will provide further detail in these different types of analyses. Relative band intensity comparisons with different types of normalization, lane comparison or similarity score analysis, generation of analysis reports, theory of background subtraction, overviews of the following modules, analysis toolbox for tissue section analysis, array analysis, colony counting, and an overview of the workflow for GXP software analysis in regulated labs.